Holly and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall themed one. I thought it would be fun to do fall DIYs that you need to try because I wanted to throw some decor in there but I also wanted to do some fall treats and like ideas that you could do with your friends so that's kind of what this video is and I know you guys like seeing like DIYs you need to try type of videos. They're like some of the most popular ones on my channel. So I really hope you guys like it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you do like it because it helps other people find this video and that would mean a lot to me. Also really quickly before we jump into the video, I just thought I would mention that if you don't know, I'm currently giving away these beautiful pink Beats headphones. The giveaway ends, I think like next week, October 7th, I believe is the date. So yeah, I do a giveaway every single month and this is the one that I'm giving away this month. So it's a really cute pair of pink Beats headphones. And if you want to win these, all you have to do is be subscribed and I will have all the details for that down below. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already because it will let you to win these. I was just talking so fast. I forgot to like breathe. Wow. <laughs> and with all that being said, let's finally get into the video. Alrighty, so the first DIY we're going to be making today is these caramel apple slices. I think that they are so cute and perfect if you're having friends over and doing like a fall themed party or a Halloween party or something like that. So all I'm doing is just cutting up my apples into wedges like this so that way you have a good portion of apple for everyone to have. So once you have all the apples cut up, I did two right here and it was plenty. You're going to need these skewers and all you have to do is just poke them into the bottom of the apple so that way you can hold on to it like a s'more or something and not have to hold on to the apple and make a mess. So this just makes the whole thing a lot easier. Now, once you do this to all of the apple slices that you have, you're gonna need a muffin tin. The muffin tins are a little bit larger than cupcake ones, so they work really well. And you're gonna add all of your cute little toppings into it. So I did some melted caramel sauce, as well as coconut shreds, marshmallows, some amazing toffee bits, some mini chocolate chips, and these candy corn M&Ms. And I just think it looks so pretty and totally Instagrammable. I don't know, I'm obsessed. <laughs> And now comes the really fun part where you get to personalize it and you and your friends could all bring different toppings and then go back and forth. I just think this would be so much fun to do with friends, but yeah, all you have to do is just dip the apple into the caramel and then dip it into whatever topping you want. So I did like the marshmallow one, which is really funny. And then you can also mix and match and I just think this is so fun and they were so good. Plus, this is also a really good portion size if you don't want to have a whole caramel apple of just one flavor. You could really mix and match and make them your own, which I think is awesome. The next DIY is probably my favorite one. I saw this on Pinterest and I just couldn't not do it because it's so cute. It's like these funny sayings on pumpkins. You're gonna need acrylic paint in the colors of your choice as well as fake pumpkins. You could use real ones if you wanted to. I just chose to use fake ones. It's gonna take you about three to four coats to get it really opaque. So just keep that in mind. I kind of found it therapeutic, so I didn't mind it all. But yeah, I thought it was fun to paint the pumpkin. And I noticed that the foam brushes work the best for this because it really gets in all the cracks and everything. So I recommend using one of those and then take your sticker set and you can write really whatever you want on these I decided to write creep it real on this one instead of keep it real get it get it I think it's funny <laughs> I tried not to be too fussy about how straight the lines were with the letters this time around because that just makes it not as much fun. So if they're not perfect, that's why. I just wanted it to be fun and not stressful. And the other one that I did says, which better have my candy? Kind of a pun on Rihanna's song, which I think is hilarious, a family friendly version of that song. And I just think that these are so cute and would look perfect in your room. And then the last DIY I have for you guys today is another treat and this one was so good. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it actually was. It's candy corn, pump corn, pump corn, popcorn. So <laughs> what you're going to need for this is just some microwavable popcorn and then put that into a bowl like this. And then you can add whatever toppings you want to it that are like meltable. So I did marshmallows, candy corn M&Ms, and candy corn and I think it looks so pretty. You could just eat it like this but I decided to top it off with some Hershey's caramel syrup. So all you have to do is melt that down in the microwave a little bit and pour it over top and it kind of just melts all of the toppings a little bit so you get the flavor of all of those. And it also makes it that salty and sweet taste and it was so good. My whole family loved this, so I highly recommend trying this out if you guys have any time. 
Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed seeing those DIYs that you should try out this fall. Definitely make sure to tweet or Instagram or Snapchat me a picture if you recreate any of these because my Snapchat is also open so anyone can Snapchat me. It's really fun. Totally forgot to mention in the intro that my hair is up in a messy bun because it was just not cooperating today so let's just ignore that. Don't forget to also subscribe to my channel if you're new here so that way you can see new videos just like this one from me. I try and post three times a week. I'm really trying to get on my schedule for October with all the Halloween videos and stuff so get excited for those but yeah I'm just rambling on so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video very very soon. Bye!